hello boys and girls i hope you're all okay at home and uh, you're all doing your home learning because we've seen some great home learning that you sent in to your teachers so well done keep it up uh, today i'd like to read you a story today's story i'd like to read you is room on the broom by julia donaldson this is another one of my favorites The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the witch's hat. cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched all around but no hat could be found then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws he dropped it politely then eagerly said as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew, the dog wagged his tail and a stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Oh no! Down! cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched all around, but no bow could be found. Then, out from the tree, with an ear-splittering shriek, there fla flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird flattered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Oh, what's happening? It's raining. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The birds shrieked with glee and a stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow. Oh, but let go of her. Her wand. Oh no. Down, cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog. Sorry, a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. The frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick. And whoosh! They were gone. You see them? Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and... The broom snapped into two. Oh no. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went, tumbling into a bog. Ooh. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar. That was a, that was scary and loud. <gasps> I am a dragon, as mean as can be, and I'm planning on having witch and chips for my tea. <gasps> no, 
cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. <gasps> Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips, said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. <gasps> But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. <gasps> it was tall and dark and sticky. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird and its terrible voice. When it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said... To the dragon. Buzz off! That's our witch! <gasps> but who is it really? It's all her friends. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, he spluttered. I've, um, I've made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but, but, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in the dragon's insides. Can you see? He's got all scared and he's flew off. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. While she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity. Zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom. Wow, look at that. With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Let me show you. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end. I hope you liked that story. That was a really good story, wasn't it? And all her friends came to save her from the scary dragon who was going to eat her all up. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.